right, so we're down here at the neighbors where the bull, bulls and steers are. And um, our bull that we're planning on breeding some of our cows to in the future, Tater, if you don't remember him, he was a bull calf that a friend of ours or my coworker and friend lost a mama cow to and Shayla about got kicked in the face by while we were trying to bottle feed him because he was about a month old by that yeah. point and he was real wild. Go back and check out that short. <laughs> but Tater's been eating all of the corn, as you can tell. He is very plump. And the other bottle calf that, uh, so if you remember the little brown calf that didn't make it through the winter because he just couldn't keep from being parasitic, the one that, the black calf that was with him is here also. And we got a problem, they're eating lots of the grain up and we're trying to get the last two weeks finished on these steers as best as possible. So what we've come up with is one of the steers that we got, I don't even know what we call him, we got him from auction. He had pink eye. He was in a video in the past too. He's been a problem. He's been getting out. So he's in a corral. Well, we're going to move these younger steers and bulls over to the corral and let the big steers that are finishing have the whole pasture to finish on free range pasture and to get some grain. So that's what we're fixing to do. But let's get them a little video of all of our bulls and steers real quick. All right, so Dakota went to go help them out for a little bit as they're working on their house. It's probably, you can probably hear it in the background of this video, but um, this black calf is the one that we got from the dairy that the kids were bottle feeding several months ago. This is Tater Tot, the one we were referencing to um, that was very wild. Please go check out that video. It's pretty funny. It's a short um, it's also on TikTok and Facebook, whichever is easiest for you to find. Um, and then these two are the ones, the steers that are about to go to the butcher. So they got about two and a half weeks, I believe. So I think he's Longhorn Cross and he's Jersey Cross, maybe Full Blood, I don't know. They're, his horns have been removed and I'm not sure about that one, I don't remember. And then the other one. Oh, you got cubes? Okay, hold on. Leave it right there. It's fine. Because we're going to move them around the corner. Then we're going to be moving them two into this pen. So we're going to walk them around in just a second. This is the other calf that we picked up who had pink eye a couple months ago. Um, he's, I guess, been a problem getting out of the hot wire for them. So they pinned him up. And uh, we're going to pin up the other calves in here too. Just for the next two weeks while these guys put a little more fat on them. So here's our five boys, steers and bulls. And then we have uh, nine more at home including the calves. So we have a total of 14 head of cattle at the moment. <laughs> you need a friend in there? Hang on, we'll get you moved. We'll move what? somebody over in a minute. Now you made the other one jealous. Well, I think uh, we probably ought to move that. Keep their attention. Keep them. A, you're going to lose them. Hey. Come on. Come on, Tater. Come on, boy. Stopping for a tree snack. Uh huh. Woo. They're excited. <laughs> you know you got a pond down there to drink of it. <laughs> it's 
snobby. He wants the clean oh, water. Yeah. Well, that was pretty uneventful. <laughs> All right, so there wasn't much to it. They moved pretty good. They're bottle calves. <laughs> All three of the younger ones over there were bottle calves at some time. Dairy influence and then obviously tater. But uh, we've got the two big ones out here free ranging the way we think that your beef ought to be raised. And we figure they've had free range life. We were tempted to just put the two big ones in the corral that way we could really just dump the feed on them and watch them closely and feed. we got some alfalfa hay we never got fed but you know we like them free range and so that's what we got going on and we're gonna go set a couple limb lines real quick because Levi's begging to catch another flathead so we'll catch you on the next video mm -hmm.